Okay, so today we're going to bleach the Fresenius Dialysis Machine. Now, the reason why we put bleach down the machines is to reduce the risk of biofilm uh, collecting in the drainage lines of the machine. And if that biofilm film builds up too much, it can actually block your drains. By just putting the bleach down and changing the environment in those drains, it just counteracts the growth of it over time. So we're gonna ask you to do this procedure probably every, at least every three months, or as directed either by the unit or by the technicians. Okay, so there's a few things you need. Obviously a bottle of bleach, this is just good old Aldi, the cheapest possible bleach that you can find on the shelves in the supermarket. Similar to the ones you use to, or exactly the same, as you use to bleach your lines. So I've got my bottle of bleach, I've got a 20ml syringe, and I've got a, my Aquachex to make sure that I've got no bleach in the system at the end before I dialyse next. I've also got a little cloth to wipe my wand. Alrighty, I've turned on the machine. The instructions, this protocol is all in your machine maintenance section of your manual. Okay, so we're going to push cleaning and we're going to find on the front screen cleaning front supplied and confirm. So what cleaning front supplied means is that it's going to pick up the bleach from the front of the machine. So not like the citrus sterile at the back, this time we're going to connect, get our bleach from the front of the machine. So we're just going to wait for a few minutes and it will tell us when to put our wand into the bleach. Okay, so after about you know three or four minutes, it will say to you connect disinfect. So we've got our red light flashing, it will, you've got that visual alert and it gives you a, an audible alert as well. Alrighty, so I'm going to connect the disinfectant. Remember I've got my Aldi bleach. Lid off. Open up. Red wand. And straight into the bottle. So now it's asking me to confirm and just like always, I'll press confirm. And we'll just wait again while it picks up the bleach from the bottle, straight through, from the, in the red hose, straight into the machine. Okay, so it looks like it's finished. It's now saying Concline not connected and that's the message that you will get when it's picked up enough of the bleach. And again, we've got that audible alarm, that reminder. So I'm going to take my wand out. I've got this ready so I don't get bleach all over the carpet. Give that a wipe. Back in and, and secure. and it's gone straight into cleaning and we'll finish this 26 minutes. Okay, so after the cleaning has finished at the end of the bleach, you'll have up here mandatory rinse end. And then the instructions are telling me to go to cleaning. And we're gonna do another 16 minute rinse. We'll put the machine into a 16 minute rinse. Again, using my arrows, I'll Green the rinse and press confirm. Now the machine is in a 16 minute rinse. So I've got a 20 ml syringe. Open it up. And I'm going to take a sample anytime during this rinse, you can take a sample from your sample port on the blue dialysate hose. So just lock that syringe in there. lock down the plunger or hold it down and then just gently pull out 20 mils or so of the rinsing fluid. Okay. 
just release that and take it off. And I've got my, remember I was, I've got my AquaCheck to check for chlorine, residual chlorine at the start when I was starting the procedure. I'm going to put this fluid that I collected earlier from my machine into my cup. Take my AquaCheck stick out to test for residual chlorine. And now I'm just going to swish it round gently in this fluid for 30 seconds. I'm checking the clock on the wall over there and we'll just gently swish around in there for 30 seconds just like you do every time you do before you dialyze checking for chlorine okay have you timed me anyway that's mm -hmm. 30 seconds and if we now look at our comparator, it's perfect. There's no chlorine in that machine, so we're really happy. Now, you know before you dialyze anyway, you're going to put the machine into a hot disinfect. So you're going to get that added layer of protection. So you can be assured that there is going to be no chlorine in your dialysate circuit, fluid circuit, next time you dialyze. Good job. Easy peasy. And remember, you can always ring the unit if you need further instruction.